two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now with the official intro. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Oh, heavy leg kick there. You saw the knee buckle. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Caceres. Man. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Elliott. Good kick. Immediately shoots for the leg. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. They separate from the clinch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. The left hook hits home. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. Oh, oh, he's limping. He slips the punch nicely there. Well, this is chopping up a lead leg 101. This is exactly the way you do it as the leg kicks continue to pile up. And you can already start to see his opponent slowing down a little bit. May want to check one of those, bro. Yeah, and here he goes again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And he's up. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be Big oh. kick to the head. He's hurt. He's stunned. This could be it. So he holds on to him here, Joe. Not doing too much. Just looking to recover. Oh, another head kick lands. And the question beckons, Joe. How many more can this guy absorb before he gets knocked down or potentially knocked out? Wow. Couldn't agree with you more. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. And they separate. Nice punch there by Tim Elliott. Caceres gets hit by that leg kick. Whoa! He hurt him. He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Joe, so really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up. And he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's been so successful. The opponent can't see it coming. Oh! oh tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Caceres. Effective punch there by Elliott. Oh, gets the takedown late in the round here, Joe. Got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Look at that. He's got it locked up. Wow, that was close. There's Man, that was beautiful. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Body kick now by Caceres. Man! Elliott gets kicked to the body yet again here, Joe. Not a good look. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Reversal here. Total strikes. Well, the offense has been low. Perfectly timed sweep. Excellent posture here. Rocked him with that right hand. Nice shot to the head. Unbelievable. Steps in. Some vicious ground and pound, and the referee was forced to stop this fight. Yeah, some brutal ground and pound to force the end in this one, and I really thought he did a nice job, Joe, posturing up, 
picking his spots and making sure when he did unload on the ground and pound that he had enough steam on those strikes to do some significant damage. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop for this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Timothy For this lightweight scrap, Smolka is 26, McGregor is 29. He will have it there for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, it's always been a huge market for the MMA leader, and we are always glad to come back. They have rolled out the welcome mat tonight as we get underway from the O2 Arena here in London, England. Well, how about the buzz in this arena as the notorious Conor McGregor makes his return to mixed martial arts competition here tonight? The question is, Joe, how will he start? Will he feel things out a little bit early and try to get his feet under him, or will he just try to find a home for that patented left hand? We shall see. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? One thing to look out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by McGregor. Moving well. Good combination. Another takedown attempt here. fight by armbar. Yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the armbar. He kept going back to the well for it, and ultimately, in the middle of this fight, he gets the tap. That is a big finish for that young man here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 36 seconds in the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Lewis the Last Smoke Well, the celebration is on in the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the air. Ready. Ready. Dateline, London, England. Good to have you with us, as always, as we get underway with live action from the O2 Arena. All right, going to be interesting to see how this one plays out in the early going. Here is Gray Maynard ready to go for round one. Just one first-round finish in the UFC. It was a nine-second win in his second UFC appearance all the way back in 2007. Maynard says he's going to be more aggressive tonight. We'll see if that's how he chooses to attack things here Nice right hand. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with a hero. Nice leg kick. Good defense there. Oh, nice. Takedown attempt here, Joe. Another shot. Guillotine, guillotine. He 
drops down for it. Armin Guillotine here. Wraps the leg around the back. And rolls him over into the mount. Very nicely done. Tremendous pressure on the neck. He's free. That guillotine was close. In half guard position. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Maynard gets double underhooks, Joe. And the fighters now separate as the action continues. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those. Oh! He he's got him right here. Big shots. Landing some shots. Gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. That one hurt. Joe, that kicking game has been on point tonight. Good kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Holton. All right, so there's that first kick to the body, Joe, as advertised. Plenty of sting on it. Likely the first of many to come tonight. And he gets reversed. Guard. Maynard gets caught with that punch. Hammer fists. Final seconds here of round one. Second round, straight ahead. try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. That punch will work right through the goal. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. It looks like he's got the anaconda choke. He might get it here. Look at this. Wow. wow. This is intense. Maintaining control. He pummels in. Now he's got double underhooks. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. Just over three minutes to go. Very nice sweep. Going orthodox now. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here. And the takedowns are starting to pile up taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Pretty good knee to the body by Grayman. Oldsworth gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Yeah, and here he goes again. Oh! This could be it right here. Man has his chin been tested early. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. 
It looks like this submission's locked. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. Easy. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to lead the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out. Ray! So there he is, your weight scrap. Dodson is three years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Gone for this one. Well, here we are inside the famed O2 Arena in London, England. Good to have you with us as we get underway. All right, ready to go here, round one. There is the Southpaw, John Dodson. This is a guy who has as much hand and foot speed as any fighter on the roster. We'll see how his opponent goes about tracking down Dodson here tonight. Nice punch by Dodson. All right, so here we go with round one, and you got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan. Every time out, it's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Soto gets in the clinch. Deep breath there and reset. Look at that, right to the temple. Pretty nice leg kick there, Joe. Good work on the feet by Dodson. Big overhand right. Hook Hit him hard lands. with that hook. Nice leg kick. Big overcut. Lands for him. Hard hook. Submission. Now he throws his leg over the shoulder. He's got that Oma Plata locked up tight. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. Getting tighter. That's it. And there it That's is. It. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, two, one. Well, at this point, all that is left is this lightweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they... Well, good to have you with us, and right on time, I might add, as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. Good punch. That one hurt. That's a good strike there by Carroll. Oh, he landed it. And he looks for the takedown. Oh, oh he slams it down, Joe. Nicely done there. 
excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's looking to take the back. He's back to side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Both hooks it. Moves into full mount here. He's putting himself in a position to isolate an arm. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. It looks like he's got that arm bar locked in tight. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. Straight up the technique. Perfect technique. Won the fight by arm bar. Beautiful job. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Ryan Kid Lightning Harrow. Well, the tape for this lightweight scrap. Cruz is four years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after Ready, it. Ready. Well, the United Kingdom boasts some of the most passionate MMA fans in the world, and they have packed the nines tonight. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. So here he is, one of the best defensive fighters in the game, the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Outstanding chin. It's not something he has to lean on all that often because he's one of the harder guys to hit that we've ever seen in UFC history. Dominic Cruz figures to be leaning on that footwork here early and often tonight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he's out. Going for it here. Huge block there. How about that chin? Big straight punch. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Cruz's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Big there. punches. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. The oh. kick lands, he's stunned. Oh. Oh. Outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fists, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. Here we see it again. Boom. Boom. 
Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. All right, big ups to the Dominator, Dominic Cruz. Another big victory here tonight. This is still a guy who meant... I don't rock with you, homie. I don't rock with you, homie.